of state, but there can be something wrong with the state of the head. Uh, it is it's very difficult for the federal government under this dispensation to enforce uh, education at all levels by the respective states, either the state, the local governments, or the center, the center itself. When we were in office, we sent a bill to the National Assembly to make education compulsory for every Nigerian child from primary to secondary education. And as a result of that legislation, we established the UBE and also imposed taxes. And all this revenue is remitted to states and local governments to help educate these poor Nigerians who cannot get education. This lack of virtually primary, the basic education, uh, all lo local government programs, even if the center has extra money, they wouldn't take it and build classrooms, equip them, employ qualified teachers from the federal uh, revenue, while it is the duty of the local, local government. We did not have a provision to penalize any level of government, whether it is state or local government, if they fail to implement those policies. If the local governments are not being given the money by the governors or by the state, then it's up to the, the, the local governments to come together and scream loud enough for Nigerians to hear them, and scream loud enough for Nigerians to hear them. If I have another opportunity, I will return the law to the National Assembly. I say, look, insert a penalty clause where a state is giving money or local government is giving money to invest in education or public education, and it decides not to do, we will have the right to penalize or take their money from even the profession. <laughs> directly and intervene in the education of those kids. Tiku is coming.